Energy Answers is a resource recovery company um, founded uh, in the late 70s. looks at various ways of taking materials, um, bringing them back to energy, uh, going towards a point that we call restorative, uh, which is beyond sustainable. So we look at various different things, uh, see how we get energy out of it, see how we can put the end-use materials back into uh, commerce. What we do generally is a lot of investigation on energy prices, waste supply, uh, metals markets, aggregates markets, uh, the infrastructure of a site. Uh, and it's essential to have some restoration if you're going to get to a sustainable society. So rather than throwing things away, Ben Franklin was an advocate of frugality. And this is a frugal way of managing a site that is no longer useful to FMC but has a lot of things that make it useful to us. Uh, this site has a lot of good infrastructure to it, and uh, it's located in an industrial area and was a perfect site for a project like we've found to, uh, with Energy Answers to redevelop this property. We met uh, FMC at a, uh, an event conducted by the American Hazards Control Group where industry and businesses get together to, to brainstorm new ideas, ways of managing their corporations, environmental liabilities, and things like that. The relationship is interesting because um, years before the FMC Baltimore site uh, started looking at uh, uh, its uh, resizing and reshaping, Energy Answers came in and was looking to be a potential other source for power. Um, over the years, Energy Answers then put in other various bids, but the relationship basically comes down to um, Energy Answers is going to be the leasee from FMC on this site. Uh, our operations and facility will be here. FMC will be the owner-operator of the soils, and we will be the owner-operator of the air rights. I believe it's the first time that a relationship like this has really developed between a, uh, a company that owns impacted properties and a company that looks to develop impacted properties. It's a good stewardship of the of the environment to recycle the properties that you've worked at and you manufacture products at uh, to some other productive use when you're finished using them. I use the analogy of the, the metamorphosis analogy that you know FMC in this case was the caterpillar and we're the butterfly I guess and in between you have a cocoon. Uh, FMC builds a a good cocoon. They take care of their site, they they mine the relationships with communities very carefully. They really uh, take care of employees when a plant closes. They're concerned about where they may wind up and what they may wind up doing. Uh, so then we come in, there's a good re uh, communication with the neighborhood, there's a good relationship with the neighborhood and the city, and then we build on that. A project like this is much more than sustainable. Uh, it restores uh, some of the resources. We're taking a site, for instance, that otherwise would be fenced and, and not used, and we're restoring it to productive use. We're eliminating, in this case, 115 acres of land that would be landfilled every year with garbage. Uh, we're recovering materials that save the excavation and, and the processing of for metals and aggregates. Um, we're restoring jobs, restoring community economic. We're looking forward to the local residents have had their concerns addressed, the, the uh, local businesses taking part in being suppliers for some of the activities going here and, and uh, local residents becoming workers here. And so all of these are things that, you know, we've put together, as we said, a community-based agreement or memorandum of understanding. And these are some of the things that are spelled out in that, that we will get local people working, we will keep the trucks off the roads in the local streets, and that we they will use local businesses. Everybody wins in a project like this. There aren't really any downsides. The local community's economy goes up. The workers are generally, we want workers from as close to the plant as we can get them because it's more convenient for them, it's more efficient for us. We want our suppliers to be close to the plant, and that's a benefit to the community because it boosts their economy. Uh, for FMC, it's a long-term presence on a site that's continuously being upgraded and monitored. Uh, and for, like, the city and the state, it's, uh, it's an improvement, it's a real boost to the economy. We're bringing in private money where private money has left 
This site has been manufacturing sites since 1917, and it took a brief hiatus in 2008 when FMC ceased productions, but now we're having an opportunity to bring this thing back to life. And that's neat, to bring back the workers, to bring back manufacturing to the Baltimore area. It's very good. FMCs, we've developed quite a few properties around the country. Uh, some, particularly in California, are now reused as shopping malls. There's the Federal Express building on the site in San Jose. Uh, we're uh, looking at putting a soccer stadium on the site there in San Jose. Uh, we've done quite a few other projects that uh, have been very successful. There's a strong commitment to quality, protection of the environment, sustainable development, um, corporate responsibility, and FMC has a lot of sites in the U.S. that would be attractive sites for us. The opportunities of taking Brownsfield sites and turning them into productive reuse facilities is always out there, so I think there'll be many future opportunities for both Energy Answers and FMC. I, I hope that we can find creative uses for all the properties that, uh, that we're no longer using.